In the bayous of southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas, researchers have discovered a potential medicinal breakthrough from alligators. Alligator blood is showing to be a potent antibiotic in lab testing at McNeese State University. Take a look inside that lab with the researcher on the brink of a new class of drugs in this special health cast report. Oh. These keepers of the bayou are known for their tenacity. But behind the alligators, piercing eyes and sharp teeth is an immune system that is as ferocious as the primitive creature. They've really put a lot of selective pressure on themselves to develop this tremendous immune system that we've been studying for the last 10 or 12 years. McNeese State University biochemistry professor Mark Merchant handles alligators like they're his own children. He's been bitten, scarred, but never deterred in his quest to prove what it is that makes gators survive and thrive even in bacteria and fungi-filled environments. I've seen alligators with huge, huge injuries, uh, missing limbs, missing big parts of their tail, apparently healthy. To get to the source of the immune response, Dr. Merchant and his students started by studying the alligator's blood. I took blood from an alligator and I said, will it kill these bacteria? Can, can, can blood from an alligator kill bacteria? There are over 100 crocodilians just in this research space. Most of them have had their blood drawn before for this immune system study. It's pretty similar to what we see as humans, except the blood is drawn from the neck. We see it in the arm or wrist. We let the blood sit in the lab at room temperature, and the red blood cells will begin to settle, and the white blood cells will stay on top, and we can kind of collect the white blood cells for our immune system studies. In the immune system, the white blood cells are the infection fighters. For this experiment, Dr. Merchant isolated the gator's white blood cells and extracted the active proteins. We found that the alligator white blood cells were making these tiny, tiny little proteins that have tremendous antibacterial and antifungal activity. To see it for yourself, check out this petri dish. It was filled with staph bacteria common in human illnesses. Then a well was created in the dish for alligator blood. Wherever the alligator white blood cell proteins are, the bacteria are dead. You can see around here we have a lot of bacterial growth, but in the middle we have what we call a zone of inhibition. We don't put too much. Grad student Nino Falcone has been a research partner with Dr. Merchant for the past five years. He says we're at a health crossroads as current antibiotics become less effective. Bacteria are coming back and are becoming resistant to new antibiotics and all that. So we need to discover new things. The gator blood has shown it can kill E. coli, salmonella, strep, and staph infections, even a strain of HIV. Now the mission is to determine the exact structure of these potent proteins. We potentially could come up with not only a new drug for human and veterinary use, but a whole new class of drugs that works by a completely different mechanism. Now, don't try your own home remedy. Raw alligator blood can make you very sick. Dr. Merchant says he believes the alligator blood serum could be synthetically made in a pharmacological setting and on store shelves within the next 10 years. It is so neat to see that happening right here locally. Mm -hmm. And then to, to have both undergraduate and graduate students be part of all of that research, it's something that, right. you know, for Nino, that grad student has really changed his career focus. Right. and. Uh, Loving the alligators. <laughs> Could be setting some precedents here right in mm -hmm. the area. How about eating Thank fried you. alligator or alligator ball, balls? I don't think that helps. That won't help. Yeah, but you know it's lean good. like chicken, so yeah. I maybe not fry it, but uh, maybe yeah. some blackened alligator a little better than better than okay. the fried. All right.